Look at what I have created! I have made power! I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Anyways, I just finished my solar system. I'm going to show you how to build it. I'm going to show you what materials to use. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we get into the nitty gritty, I wanted to talk about the solar panel that I picked up from Amazon. This is a 100 watt panel from Renogy, and it only cost me about 100 bucks. I use it to power my lights, my refrigerator, and all my electronics. Everything from my laptop to my cell phone and cameras, my drone, uh, and it is hooked up to a 150 watt amp hour battery, which I will show you in just a minute. It took me a couple hours to set it up, but to be honest, it was well worth it. I had everything soldered. Uh, the soldering took me way too long because I picked up a cheap kit from Home Depot. Um, anyways, I had a lot of fun and basically made some decent joints. So of course you're going to need your cables, your pliers, drills, cable cutters, and of course your energy. Um, I got some brackets that I used to mount the battery in. And once I had it mounted in, uh, I basically started wiring up everything after that. One thing that I would really like to point out, you always want to plug your charge controller to your battery first. Never plug the solar panel in before. Uh, from what I hear, bad things can happen. So once I had the battery hooked up, I went ahead and started the wiring for the solar panel cut the wires, got everything clipped, and tried to make it as neat as possible. So this is my Renogy charge controller, and as you can see, it's pushing at about 12 to 13 volts. And it's pushing at about 4 to 5 amps. So power looks pretty decent. I'll see if I can get a tweak on those numbers. It may look like I know what I'm doing, but I have no Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. This is a stick up. If you watched it this far, you owe me a like.